Hello everybody, today we've got this Apple power supply. The man who brought it to me said that he opened it himself, saw a burned element and uh, he changed it, tried to turn it on, but the power supply didn't work, so he gave it to me. Let's see what's inside and try to fix it, it's an original power supply. He already disassembled it himself. It's Cinema HD display, 90 watts. I don't know exactly from what equipment it is. Maybe a monitor, or maybe a monoblock, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. So let's remove the shield. and see, maybe we will notice something here I can see the element it's anti mister and underneath I can see some burned that's probably the, the element the man changed and from this side we can see, yes some flux and usually when anti seater mister is burned it means that something is shorted sometimes it is dead breach this is the one we are checking right now and it shows good which is strange so probably our switch is blown very often it is the switch. Switch blows and anti seater mister also blows. Let's make sure where the drain and source is. I always confuse when I check it backwards. So here is the drain and source, and it's it's okay. This is strange. What else can be bad here? Here I can see some switches, probably this is LC switches. The one we first checked that was APFC switch and those two LC topology switches. This one is seems like an LC. Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong, but it doesn't matter. As you can see, the fuse is not conducting, so it means that it is bad. Probably the man changed the anti-C, but forgot to change the fuse. Because the man didn't know electronics. Let's make sure that the output rectifying diet is good, and it is good. That's why I'm gonna try to change a fuse. Okay, here is the old fuse. I put a little wire in here, temporarily. And let's try to turn it on through isolating transformer, of course. not from mains directly and uh, here I turn it on and the lamp stays on so it means we've got some problem as you can see here is the lamp I'm turning it on and the lamp the lamp glows it means we've got a shirt and the shirt somewhere at the input this is really strange we check the diet bridge what else can be wrong in here? The connector itself looks good. Capacitors also fine. Maybe this ferret choke. I don't know. Let's check the connector itself. Do we have a shirt in here? And yes, we do almost have direct shirt. 
this choke very drain looks burned but this is because and to see I don't know and probably now I know the reason yes I can see that this NTC is put from line to neutral so that means the man who put it in, in here he messed it up there was actually a varistor in the first place and the man without knowing what to put put an NTC As you can see, NTC is. I unsoldered it. And this is a varistor, a new one. And for those who does not know the difference, I'm gonna show you. Let's put in resistance mode. That's the NTC we removed. 4.7 ohms. And that's the varistor we're gonna put. And as you can see, my body shows about mega ohm resistance. And the resistor is eternity, open loop. Let's see what the fuse says. This is an awkward fold, but it is happens as you can see. And it is ceramic bead and it says 2 amps let's try to put everything back Okay, I soldered everything, I turn it on, the lamp blinks and now it is not glowing as before, so the shirt has gone, of course, and as you can see 25 volts, that's good, I think it is working. And uh, let's see. What voltage should we got and it is 24.5 under nominal load so when it is not loaded 25 is quite okay yeah that's definitely a fix now I'm gonna put everything back as it came and try so I put everything back this board is out just for checking I'm not gonna put or glue it the man would do that himself just want to make sure that everything still works turn it on the lamp hasn't blinked because the main cap is charged and we can see 25 volts so this one is fixed that was an easy fold unusual so far so good see you next time bye